Hi friends, you are watching Gate Helpline and in this video, we will see question number 51 from ISRO December 2017 question paper. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel regarding gate exam. So friends, question number 51 is, suppose the numbers 7518360942 are inserted in the order into an initially empty binary search tree. The binary search tree uses the reversal ordering on natural numbers. That is, 9 is assumed to be smallest and 0 is assumed to be largest. The in-order traversal of the resultant binary search tree is and the options are A, B, C and D. So friends, now we will see explanation to this question. In this question, we ask that suppose the numbers 75183 60942 are inserted in that order into an initially empty binary search tree. The binary search tree uses the reversal ordering on natural numbers. That is, 9 is assumed to be smallest and 0 is assumed to be largest. So, the binary tree uses the reversal ordering. The in order traversal of the resultant binary search tree is. So, this is the question that simply means. These are the numbers which we need to insert into an empty binary search tree using the reversal ordering and after getting the binary search tree, we need to get the in order traversal and the in order traversal is the answer to this question. So friends, before starting the explanation to this question, we will see what is binary search tree. So friends, binary search tree is a binary tree in which every node contains only smaller values in its left subtree and only large values in its right subtree. So now we will see a binary search tree with the help of diagram. So friends, this is the node K with value K and on the left subtree we are having the node values which are less than K and on the right hand side we are having the values which are greater than K. So friends, this is a normal binary search tree and in the question we ask that we are using the reversal ordering where 9 is assumed to be the smallest. That simply means that these values, the larger values will come on the left hand side and the smaller values will come on the right side. So friends, in the figure we are having the binary search tree with reversal ordering. That is, on the left subtree we are having the node values which are greater than k and on the right subtree we are having the node values which are less than k. So friends, this is the thing which we need to keep into our mind and try to insert the values into the binary search tree. So friends, let's start doing the insertion. So friends, the given numbers are 75183-60942. So friends, now we will start with the first node and we need to draw the binary search tree. So the first node will come here that is 7. After that, we are having the next node as 5. 5 is less than 7. So friends, you can see from the this diagram that is node value less than k. So k is our 7 and node value is 5. So 5 is less than 7. So it will go on the right subtree. So 5 will go here. After that we are having 1. 1 is less than 7 and 1 is less than 5 also. So it will go on the right of 5. So it will come this way. After that we are having 8 as node value. 8 is greater than 7. So, the node values greater than 7 will go on the left subtree. So, it will go on the left of 7. So, it will come here. After that, we are having 3. 3 is less than 7. 3 is less than 5 also. But 3 is greater than 1. So, with respect to 1, that means if we consider 1 as the root node, that is this one, and 3 as the node value, then 3 is greater than k or 1. So, it will go on the left subtree of this node. So, 3 will come this way. So, 3 is inserted here. After that, we are having 6. 6 is less than 7 and 6 is greater than 5. So, the greater than values will come on the left. So, 6 will go this way. So, 6 will come here. After that, we are having 0 as the node value. So, 0 is less than 7. 0 is less than 5 and 0 is less than 1 also. So keeping this diagram in mind, we know that 0 is less than 1. So the node value is less than k. 
that is it will go on the right sub tree so zero will go this way so zero comes here after that we are having nine as node value nine is greater than seven and nine is greater than eight also so the greater than values will come on the left so it will go on the left of eight after that we are having four four is less than seven four is less than five also but four is greater than one and four is greater than three also so the greater than values will come on the left so four will go this way after that we are having two as node value so two is less than seven two is less than five also but two is greater than one as it is greater than one it will go on the left subtree so we came here here again we will check for the value so two is less than three so the less than values will go on the right subtree so two will go this way so two comes here after that all the elements or the nodes are completed that is this is the resultant binary search tree which we want so friends after getting the bst we verify that whether we have the bst with reversal ordering or not so here you can see that the left subtree of node 7 is having all nodes greater than 7 and the right subtree is having all nodes less than 7 similarly for node 5 the left subtree is having all nodes greater than 5 and the right subtree is having all nodes less than 5 same way we can verify other nodes as well after verifying the bst we need to get the in order traversal we assume you know how to get in order traversal if yes it's fine if no please comment in order traversal so that we will upload a video on that soon and after that we can calculate the in order traversal so the in order traversal is the answer so friends option d is the in order traversal that is 9876543210 is the in order traversal of this binary search tree so friends as per our explanation answer to this question is option d that is option d is the in order traversal of the resultant binary search tree so friends thanks for watching our video please like subscribe and share our videos to appreciate our work if you have any doubt or question Please comment below.